I forget how to play this game. Uh, okay. So yeah, how you doing, Silver? Uh, I'm all right. How are you? I'm yeah, I'm doing this interview with you. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that. Okay. Wait. Why did you accept the invite? I feel like you might have already answered that, but why did I accept the invite to yeah. be interviewed? Yeah, to do this because uh, I knew I knew it was something that you really wanted to do, and I thought it sounded like a really fun thing to do. And I was like, oh man, if I can like help Silver and have fun doing it, <laughs> fuck yeah! All right, <laughs> wait, can I swear? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> uh, do you make things? Do you, do I make things? I am. Um, I would say so. I'm. I do theatrical design in my daily life. Ooh. So I would say yes. I I do. I do make things outside of the Twitchiverse. Okay. Um, but inside the Twitchiverse, I I make content that <laughs> I think is just genuinely me and things that I I just want to share. And I think that's that's what's special about what I do. What kind um, of things? Well, just like I've always been passionate about how like games can tell a story and like games bring people together and how like I just made a beautiful shot <laughs> um, <laughs> and just how like, oh, hell yeah, hold on too. Um, just how games are a powerful medium to do things with. Like and, what uh, in particular? Well, just bring people together. I mean, like you and I would have never known each other if it weren't for video games. This is true. Yeah. Because you were playing Terraria and I was playing Terraria and you were like, oh, I need to look for people to raid playing Terraria. Mm -hmm. And then bing bong, Terraria bing bong. brought us together. So, <laughs> yeah, bing bong, bing bong. Why do you make things? Why do I make things? Yes. Um, Because it makes me happy making them. Hi. <laughs> well, I mean, like, oh my god, where am I? Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. Um, I mean, like, the, yeah, that, that's really the short and sweet of it. Like, mm -hmm. I've always enjoyed playing games, and I've always enjoyed people watching me play games, and then it just kind of, uh, you know, just so, kind of happened. Just kind of, kind of melded together. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Now you'll really like this next question. Oh, hell yeah. Why do you really make things? Uh, <laughs> um, like, is like, why did I start streaming? Like, no, like you say or... you said that the reason you make things is because it makes you happy. Uh -huh. Is there another alternative motive that you haven't well, thought about motive. or haven't really realize might be another reason well i think it's a stress reliever yeah for me also like because like streaming particularly is just somewhere that i can just be myself mm -hmm. and just like not really worry or care about what other people think and it's it's a moderated platform where i can say like ah yes i'm i'm gonna play spider-man today <laughs> and then people can show up if they want to show up yeah and then they cannot if they don't and like there's no pressure about how like there's no pressure of like saying hey do you want to hang out today and do this thing it's kind of like you, you can come hang if you want to like obviously it's a mm -hmm. different this was the course i got trapped on <laughs> the hell um Oh, bye. <laughs> See ya. The, uh, like, obviously a different medium and everything, but, like, it's just kind of, uh, it's a nice place to be me. Okay. Um, has that been an issue for you in the past? Just, like, having a, a place where I can just be me casually? Yeah. I think... Like not not exactly, but um, more in the sense of feeling pressure to act a certain way mm -hmm. and like do a certain thing or whatever. Um, but 
like when I'm streaming, it's just kind of like, yeah, I can, I, I just kind of do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like people seem to enjoy that, which is really nice. Yeah. And then, uh, how much sauce did you get that? Just um, like two and a half, I think. Bye. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm going the right way. <laughs> the uh, yeah, just kind of um, I it, before high school, like I had a lot of trouble, like just being myself. Um, yeah. But in high school, I kind of found a stride, and then when I went to university, it was kind of like, this is weird, and I don't. I don't love this. And don't then love what? Just like how everybody's just kind of commuting and wanting to find people to like future job opportunities. Like I got that vibe from a lot of people at university. Oh, like they were only um, here to make get... connections and get out. Yeah, they weren't here and... to enjoy themselves. Yeah, or just like even make friends. Like I don't really want to work with people if I'm, if they don't want to be friendly and be friends, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and like obviously, I come from a very specific strand of theater folk. So what strand my skew is that? Of that. <laughs> well, I mean, like just theater folk as my strand. Um, oh, okay. Because like. Oh, I hate that you did that to me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but just like... Oh, that didn't work out. Uh, like you kind of have to work collaboratively to make something mm, in that mm -hmm. universe. And so when people so don't, it's really discouraging. Yeah, it's kind of like, well, I don't particularly want to be. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like discouraging and it, it really, you know, it hinders the creative. Oh my God, flow, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, OK. Nerd. <laughs> I'll work with this. Are you actually stuck up there? <laughs> no, I'm not. I can swing. <laughs> <laughs> Is there someone else besides me that you like? <laughs> You're the only person I actually like. <laughs> really? No. Um, let's go with Clancy, because Clancy's like a fresh person in my life. Okay. Um, I like Clancy. The next question is, why do I like Clancy? Yes, why do you like them? Because Clancy's just such a laid back dude, and he's just willing to absolutely roll with it. Mm. And like in such a way that he's just so easy to be around. Right. But yeah, Clancy's just like really easy to talk to and just be around and like have a good time with. And that I really nice. appreciate that about that with somebody. Cause like, it's not just that he's easy to be around and talk to, but like, I feel like I could also just like talk to him about stuff. What do you like about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, next question. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, um, what do I like about myself? I like that, like, I can just talk to people. And, like, my mother has always said <laughs> that, like, I'm such a personable person uh -huh. that, like, I should work in an old folks home because, like, I would just get on so well with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like some people find it really easy to talk to me and like some people just don't. And I think that's more of a factor of like how easy they find it in general to talk to people. Mm. Cause um, like I know some people like they just straight up cannot like, like if they're familiar with somebody, they're familiar with somebody and they can talk with them for like hours and hours and hours and hours. Mm -hmm. um, but some other people. What the fuck is this map? <laughs> it's um, a kind of trash map. It's kind of. A, where did you go? I went. Oh my back god! To you're back star. at the beginning. <laughs> don't go through the red mist. Don't go in the red mist. Whatever you do, don't go in the red mist. Um, bet. <laughs> Even if uh, I'm not. But yeah, there. like some people just like 
they need to familiarize themselves with somebody before they can really talk to them. Mm -hmm. And the difference with me is like, I don't overly have to familiarize with somebody to like be able to talk to them. So I think some people like get a little freaked out by that and then just don't want to talk to me. Um, what about yourself inspires you? About myself inspires me. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, actually, yeah. I think just the fact that I'm willing to try something, like I'm, I'm, you know, there's those people that are like, oh, I'll try anything once, but like. <laughs> Like, I'm willing to always attempt to understand the concept of something. Mm. Um, in such a way of... Oops, gonna... Ah! It's what did I hit? Really weird. Um, but yeah, just like understand the concept of something before I'm like, ah, no, I, I will not try that. <laughs> um... And like even just just always wanting to know where other people are coming from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you react in uncomfortable situations? I'm an appeaser, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I like I just want to make everybody happy. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, like I like if somebody's upset, like typically I just want to make them happy and then uh -huh. move on from there. Um, which is apparently a problem. <laughs> so they tell me. <laughs> yeah. Um, has it I, been a problem it for out. you? Yeah, occasionally. How Cause so? like, you know, like if somebody like gets upset with me over something that I did, like in the moment, I'll be like, ah, uh, yes, like how could I fix this? And then later on, you know those memes where it's like in the shower you you have like all of the ammo of like all the things you should say and then like yeah. during the actual argument you're just like I don't really say. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Like it, it's it's kind of like that. Okay. When was the last time you were validated? Oh dear god. Uh Oh yeah, okay. I just got back from lunch with my friend nice. and uh he he he's fantastic. Um but uh, I was talking to him about some lighting thing that was going on at work. Mm -hmm. And like, he's an actor. And yeah. uh, he told me that he thinks that I'm way more more proficient and capable than I think I am. And that was nice. I bet. That sounds really, that sounds really validating. Yeah, because like some days I feel that and some days I just don't. <laughs> yeah. What makes you not feel that way? Uh, well, sometimes I'm just like faced with a problem that some people just like expect that I should be able to solve. And then I mm. like it takes me a while to get there. Like I could get there. Just takes me a while to get there. Mm -hmm. But they treat it like I should have just gotten there right All away. Right. And there's like it's my fault that I didn't. Mm. Yeah, that's that's awful. Yeah. And it's like, well, then why didn't you just why why didn't you do this then you know yeah that's not fun no like i'm a technician like as well as designer and like like i wouldn't say i'm like a master class technician or anything at this mm -hmm. point uh but like but you know some I, stuff I, about some yeah stuff. exactly and like i wish more people would just kind of like take a second and realize not everyone knows everything and like <laughs> some people were also taught differently and like mm. blah 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 mm -hmm. so even just the whole asking for help shindig yeah who are you uh <laughs> yes <laughs> I'm, I'm just some dude flying by the seat of his pants <laughs> trying to figure out his way in the world along yeah. with everybody else. Mm. 
<laughs> like, I, I guess I could get more specific than that. If you but want. I, I mean, the next question, you could probably roll it into that if you want. Is the next question, who are you really? No. Oh, I really thought it might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like... That's the thing. Like, people, when they introduce themselves, a lot of people are just like, uh, yes, I am this job title. Mm, mm -hmm. And that's not like, that's not who you are. No, that's what you that's, do. That's a thing that you do to make money. Yeah. And like, like, I wouldn't even necessarily call myself like an artist. Like, mm -hmm. even though I'm a designer and like, I do like the Twitch things and everything. It's like, yeah. I, I'm just... I'm just, I'm just solid as snake. I'm just trying to make my way in the world, man. <laughs> just oh, trying I made to the whole, live. Just trying to live a little and make friends along the way. Yeah. Let's see. So, friends along the way. How important have friendships been for you? Uh, well, you know what they say. Friends, friends come and go, but, but mustard is forever. <laughs> is it? <laughs> is it forever? When was the last time mustard went bad? Um, a couple of years ago. And has that lasted longer than a lot of friendships? I don't remember. Exactly. I want to say yes But and you no. remember the mustard. <laughs> I don't even know if the, my mustard story is correct. <laughs> I just remember... I had some really old mustard that had gone bad. I was like, you know what? I'm throwing this out. Could and so I that? did. <laughs> <laughs> the mustard's forever. You're ruining my analogy. <laughs> um, oh, that was almost beautiful. And then it wasn't. That's what God said when he made me. <laughs> That's uh, depressing. But yeah, so the actual answer to your question is pretty important. Like, okay. I've... Like, yeah, the friendships do come and go, but... Like, it's not to say that just because they've gone, they weren't impactful or helpful in any way. Ugh, in any way. Mm -hmm. um, which is what I always try to remind myself. Like, if something, if there's a falling out or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. But, but yeah, like, I've learned to be fine on my own, but I always know that there'll be somebody there too, which is super nice. Yeah. What's uh, your longest standing relationship? Or friendship uh, with I gotta say my best friend, Boyer. I met him when I was in grade 10. Ooh. We didn't really talk until grade, like halfway through grade 11. By the end of grade 12, we were best friends, and then we just never stopped. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm so glad you have that. Yeah, boy, he's fucking great. He's a dude. He really <laughs> is a dude. <laughs> uh, but I think that's something that, like, I really appreciate about being Boy's relationship is that, like, it doesn't have to be, like, a everyday texting thing. Uh -huh. But it's, like, we've gone, like, two months like without saying a word to each other and then we just have like one night where we play games together and it's like nothing's changed oh that's awesome yeah it's fantastic i'm so glad you have that yeah because like we both have totally different schedules like he's in journalism i'm in drama and he's got a job and i've got like theater things and like <laughs> it's a whole clusterfuck mm -hmm. outside of race gender and career how would you describe yourself gonna say just a dude but i guess that's <laughs> technically gender <laughs> yeah it's gendered um i'm just somebody who what kind of map is this who just wants to have some no oh, no that just sounds like an awful tinder bio <laughs> i'm just somebody who wants to have some fun <laughs> um but like just just make it through life and like have a good time doing it and hopefully make somebody else's life a bit better on the way. Mm. Why is that important like, to you? Like, I know what it's like to not have anyone to want to do that for you. Mm. And 
like that's how I take care of myself. Like I, I want to make other people happy and like help other people with their shit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Help other people? How exactly? Just by being a friend or being something yeah. to distract? I mean, yeah, kind of. You know, whatever they need. Yeah. Like, I can do the whole like needing to talk thing. I can do the whole needing to distract thing. I can do the whole like play some golf and do an interview thing. You know. <laughs> what is something that scares you? The ocean. The ocean. Why the ocean? Just because like it's so big and so not friendly and. <laughs> Like, we've explored more of space than the ocean. Like, don't get me wrong, space scares me too. Mm -hmm. So you're scared of the ocean and space? Yeah, I mean, like, just the fact that, like, there could literally be, like, a world eater out there and yeah. we'd have no idea because space is so big. So, you know, Mass Effect. Yeah. Like, the Reapers in Mass Effect. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're, they're kind of spooky. Yeah, just like the concept of like there is a life form in the universe whose sole purpose it is is to just wreck everything uh -huh. for the fact that like new life can begin. Because like that that seems totally plausible mm -hmm. in a sense. Like I don't want to say I believe that. No, but it's plausible, but it's plausible and, that and that's you. the scary part. Yeah. Ah, okay. Also, like, just whales are big enough as it is, man. <laughs> the whales can't get bigger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, if if whales are the biggest thing around, that's fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have anything bigger than that. No, nothing bigger than a whale. <laughs> yeah. What's your opinions on dinosaurs? I'm glad they're not around anymore. Because <laughs> they're definitely that's bigger than sure. whales. That's the problem. <laughs> I um, see. Okay. I mean, there's there's some dinosaurs that are just like, like the land roaming ones aren't as scary to me, but the sea ones are just because like it, you can't see them, and that's like not our, that's not humans' land anymore. Mm -hmm. What is the hardest thing you've ever had to overcome? Oh man. It's like a combination of a few things that kind of boils down to being okay with being alone. Yeah. Like how so? Like, you know, like relationships and people move on and like that. But then mm -hmm. also like people die and therefore, you know, they're not around anymore. Yeah. Because that's how death works. Yeah. So yeah, it's like a combination of that oh, and gosh. then turtles. <laughs> turtles. See, this is this is how I know I'm never gonna be alone. This is this is how I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I um, stared into the turtle abyss. Uh, what was the hardest thing you had to overcome? You said trying to figuring out how to be alone. Yeah, and just like being happy with that. Yeah. Aloneness, because like I don't know, I've kind of had like it like not necessarily like moved into me but like just like with life in general it's like i kind of you know just fend for myself mm -hmm. which is fine because i think at the end of the day like you need to be able to fend for yourself before you can fend for anybody else yeah because like there's this whole thing of like on an airplane part of the safety thing is uh if there's like a you know crashing event or whatever and the oxygen masks fall from the ceiling you're supposed to put it on your yourself first mm -hmm. and then like if you're a mother or whatever like then you put it on your kid mm -hmm. because like it's it's no help to anyone if if you're gone and cannot put it on the kid mm -hmm. because then you're both dead yeah um totally so it's kind of like that that kind of adage of at the end of the day you're gonna be the one there for yourself for sure mm -hmm. and obviously like it's nice if somebody else is there for you and there's like a safety net but it's not always there yeah the only one that you could really count on at the end of the day is you which like sounds very like dystopian and awful to say but like 
It's also kind of true. <laughs> it's just true. <laughs> yeah. What frustrates you the most about life? Uh, I think just how, like, people in life or, like, life in life? Okay, I think... let's split that off into two separate questions. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I think people in life just not caring about, like, what they're doing or who they're around. Okay. Or, like, what the consequence of anything that they're doing is, even. Because hmm. it's like, everything you do is has some something attached to it it's the butterfly effect you know it has some sort of meaning yeah and the people who are like who you say to them like hey this thing is bothering me and they go and move on with their lives it's like <laughs> ah okay i see i see goodbye yeah. yeah it's very invalidating isn't it yeah so like that that gets me mm. um i think just like the fair ooh, fairness in life is like nothing is ever fair and that kind of sucks yeah um, it does <laughs> yeah because it's like oh i'd love oh no don't touch it the i'd love everything to be fair but nothing is fair what is something you are proud of you okay why <laughs> uh because you're doing great <laughs> well thank you of course i don't know where i am right now oh uh, you're in your room i think i think that's your bedroom this is actually just a really elaborate set on a soundstage oh <laughs> imagine <laughs> yeah i can actually run like 20 feet that direction and there's <laughs> nothing there can can you prove it All right, I can't so do yeah. a bit. My headphones aren't long enough. <laughs> well, we could take them off and like be gone for 20 <laughs> seconds. We're like, there. I'd have to back. be gone for 40 seconds for the bit because I run 20 seconds that That's way. And I might have to run back, right? That's true. Yeah. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. But another thing, just like in general, that I'm proud of, uh, like I graduated university. Mm -hmm. But then like... I actually applied it super quick and I got like a lot of job opportunities and like people really wanted to hire me and work with me and I was like that's awesome and I was really proud of that yeah must be really encouraging it, yeah it's it's been nice how do you take care of yourself uh I just I just take time to think things through yeah like what yeah that's awesome. well it's just like like, if somebody's upset with me for whatever reason, it's like, I, I just need to think about, like, oh, why are they upset with me? Like, oh, how much of that is, like, actually something that I can control? And I see. So recontextualizing the situation. Yeah. I mean, when you say it like that, it's like, sounds like I lied to myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. They're, like, you mentioned before, like, that's part of it, is trying to figure out what is unreasonable and what isn't. Yeah, this like, what, what, can. what can you control? What's worth your effort of trying to control? Like, why am I behind the bed right now? And how can I get <laughs> out of here? You know? Uh -huh. uh, but just, like, being able to understand of, like, what what's out of your control and worrying about the things that you actually can control. Mm -hmm. um, but even just, like on a really practical basis it's like i just i just take time and i i play games that make me happy i take time for me to do things that i enjoy well that's good i'm glad yeah. that you do that me too uh do you have any rituals rituals yeah uh do i pet my dog every day well, there you go. There's your ritual. <laughs> there's my ritual. Pet my dog. Pet your dog. What what breed is your dog? He's a Kelpie. I think I n remember that name. That's a name I recognize. I don't remember yeah. what they look like. <laughs> so it's so adorable. But like they um, they're a herding dog. Mm -hmm. And how they herd sheep is they actually like jump on the sheep's backs. <laughs> so you should you should definitely look up a video of them because they're so fantastic. 
but yeah definitely like look up a video of kelpies hurting because mm. it's so entertaining <laughs> such a pain to train because all they want to do is jump on you it's funny how different dogs respond to like hurting or wanting to wanting attention or anything mm -hmm. it's funny how we do that too it's, humans you know? yeah we do do that don't we it's a crazy world we live in how do you do that how do you how do i get attention yeah how do you <laughs> I stream, man. For... <laughs> you stream? i just stream okay so whenever you're feeling down like man, man i'm I lonely <laughs> um, turn on twitch and just like fire it up and go like, hey guys, give me attention. <laughs> give me the subs and bits, boys. <laughs> no, um, it's more knowing like who you can get attention from. Okay. If that makes sense. Like <laughs> if something's going on, it's like, then you reach out to them and you're like, hey, what's cracking? Mm -hmm. And then like they'll interact with you. And maybe you, like if that's somebody you're like, talking to on a daily basis then it's like then maybe it's saying like hey i need like a little extra like you're doing good <laughs> okay uh, but even it, for me it goes down to communicating love languages so what is your love language in that case i've got a few <laughs> <laughs> you've got a few <laughs> it depends on the day and like what's kind of going on but like yeah uh words of affirmation are always nice but like it doesn't like, mm. it doesn't mean a lot to me sometimes just because, like, people in the past have... There was one person in the past who uh, we were, like, having a falling out or whatever, and they were just like, you know what? Like, I only ever was nice to you because, like, it seemed like you needed it. Oh. I, I was like, ah. That's, yeah, that's real yeah. soul-crushing. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, oh, well, now I can't really trust when people are just, like, saying nice things to me because now I'm not sure, like... You mean it, or if you're just being nice. Yeah. 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 I hate and that. Like, yeah, but, like, not even just being nice, but, like, doing it for the motive of, like... Trying to get you I to... want you to feel better so that I don't really have to deal with this anymore. Yeah, so that you can <laughs> like, stop feeling guilty. Yeah. So, like, yeah, words of affirmation are nice, but, like, I can never really take them. Seriously? Like, not necessarily seriously, but, like, super genuinely. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. But, okay. I don't know. Like, gift, like, gifting is one because, like, like I don't necessarily like receiving gifts but knowing that somebody actually like put in the effort to be like ah uh, hey. yes this is a thing that you would enjoy that I think you would enjoy mm -hmm. I'm putting in the time and money and effort to like do this thing but yeah like I, I like gift giving but I think just like quality time is important too and mm -hmm. I think that's another reason I like streaming is because like when somebody comes in and they like even just lurk for like the whole stream and I know they're just like lurking. Yeah. It's like that that's quality time to me. And they're I really still there. appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. And like they're doing that for me, even if that's maybe something that was not was not something that they thought they would be doing. Yeah. I mean, they definitely could be somewhere else, but they, they chose to be here with you. You know, now yeah, it's well, exactly. working. And I think that's so special. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of special when you think about yeah. it that way. So what song embodies you? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, my default answer to this is always Ain't No Rest for the Wicked. Yeah. So I song. think well, like that's like my, my instant answer to that. Uh -huh. Um maybe excuses by shaky graves there's also <laughs> electric love by bjorns mm -hmm. which is a okay. great song why but those songs i feel like i can really only give you like a roundabout reason for ain't no rest of the wicked sure um and i feel like you, you just kind of got to keep going 
and sometimes like it goes back to like the whole life's unfair mm -hmm. not necessarily life's unfair but life isn't fair yeah and it's like no matter what you do it doesn't particularly matter but you mm. got to keep doing it anyway because you need to be doing that mm -hmm. and i feel like that's just kind of me you're like you're drifting not necessarily drifting but just like keep on keeping on <laughs> despite the odds the wicked uh you know yeah because there ain't no rest for the wicked That's money don't grow on trees you got no. bills to pay. i got mouths to feed and <laughs> ain't nothing in this world for free no <laughs> that's very true yeah there's a video like i i did a lip sync to that song there's a yeah. video of me doing like a excuse my french but it's called <laughs> a slut drop oh gosh <laughs> okay <that> video. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good because like the whole thing with the lip sync was i played all of the characters oh uh -huh. so like i was the main guy like walking down the street and then i was like a gangster and like i flipped my hat behind me i was like <laughs> <laughs> but then i was like the prostitute being like ain't no rest for the wicked <laughs> it's and so th good. does this piece of media still exist it's somewhere it does somewhere on it. the internet somewhere on the internet it does i'll find uh, it it's okay so yeah. are you happy i'm chilling you chilling i'm chilling <laughs> like the are you happy question is always so like existential yeah in the sense of like well am i happy today am i like am i happy in general am i going to be happy in two days or a week <laughs> or whatever answer and however you want like i think i would say yes i am i think i'm doing what i want to be doing i think i'm doing it how i want to be doing it mm -hmm. and i think i'm i'm cruising the way that i want to be cruising that's awesome which is nice yeah uh, but like also on the flip side i'm not married to doing that yeah in that way but yeah like i'm i'm open to trying you know like even in my professional life or in less in than the six months <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but like just trying something new and like with twitch too like i've never like i've never concerned myself overly with like the growth of it mm -hmm. and it's my philosophy has always been like if one person's watching then it's worth it <laughs> um you're making somebody I, happy even if it's well, exactly you. <laughs> well exactly and most often it is me um, it's just which, you <laughs> yeah and that makes me totally happy and that's awesome I'm very happy to be doing that yeah that's awesome but, but yeah what is something you wish to show off about yourself to the world show off yeah is this the part where i take my shirt off no <laughs> <laughs> um, no but i mean like i just i want to kind of give you the opportunity to show something great about yourself something great about myself yeah you want to show off your your nerf gun yeah i do I about that. <laughs> show second. off your nerf gun <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? That's so cool. It's so gorgeous. That's so awesome. It's so great. Actually, I guess, yeah, like, <laughs> so, it, like, my designer for my stream stuff painted mm -hmm. this. Yeah. And um, she's not great with, like, 3D manipulation of, like, putting things together. Yeah. And, like, I think what she was saying was like she took a video of herself like pulling this thing apart so that mm -hmm. she could put it back together after mm -hmm. and when she gave it back to me she just like handed me a little baggie of like pieces <laughs> and then she was like i couldn't figure out how these went <laughs> you do it <laughs> yeah well and actually yeah you you messaged me that day i did um, yeah yeah and uh <laughs> like she had come over and we were putting it back together because she didn't she didn't know how to put it back together <laughs> and uh what it ended up being was 
the mag like the mag didn't fully yeah yeah but um the mag spring for this part uh-huh. like didn't she, that was the part that she didn't put back in mm-hmm. so when you put the mag in it it like didn't lock in mm-hmm. and you couldn't like like there was no springing here mm. so and because i didn't take it apart i didn't know that either <laughs> Because I was just kind of like, ah, she'll take it apart and paint it and put it back together for me. Of course. That didn't happen. <laughs> um, but, like, I'm very happy with how it turned out and everything. That's but, awesome. Uh, I think, maybe, I guess the thing that I'd like to show off about myself is that I'm I'm very good at, like, just figuring shit out. Yeah. I think that's cool um, about you, too. Yeah. Actually, a little story. So, at work today like we have uh these like tracks to put lights on which is a pretty unconventional like lighting setup Mm -hmm. and um the lights are only about this big yeah this big uh which is also pretty unconventional given that like most theatrical lights are about this big Mm -hmm. and they have like everything just enclosed in the system and you can like take the barrel off and swap it out for different barrels blah 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 Mm -hmm. um so the lights that we have, they're called like Altman something, mm-hmm. Altman Gallery something. Yeah. But the way that they are is like there's the section that is the light. There is the section that focuses the light. So there's like a little orb in it to like curve the curve the beam of the light to shoot out the barrel. Mm-hmm. And then there's the shutters to mm-hmm. like shape the light. And then there's yeah. the barrel to focus the light. Okay. And... uh whoever like so yeah we ordered three of these new light or four of these new lights because we wanted to put gobos in them which are just like little discs that have like (laughs) engravings on them okay and uh so i climbed up yesterday to put the gobo in the light and when i put it in we thought like we had messed up because it was a really unconventional gobo size like Mm -hmm. usually it's a or b we were at e (laughs) <laughs> oh, like, that's really yeah. far off. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. So there was that, but then I put it in, and we thought something was wrong with the gobo because it didn't work. So, mm-hmm. like, it had our brand, and uh, the first letter and the last letter, like, you couldn't even see, and everything other than like the center letter was like kind of like spaced out, like it was like distorted, mm-hmm. and like i just i couldn't like i didn't know what was going on and we thought it was something to do with the gobos because they were so unconventional and like maybe Mm -hmm. like we didn't put the wording in the correct spot or whatever Mm -hmm. and um so like i was really close to emailing the guy who made them for us back and being like hey (laughs) what's wrong these 90 (laughs) dollar gobos that we ordered seven of aren't working But then I was like, ah, I'm going to try another light just to double check. Mm -hmm. And so I got up on the ladder and I put it in the other light and it worked and it was crisp and clear. So it was just that one light. Well, (laughs) God, am I glad that I tried the light that I did second. Yeah. Because somebody put the lights together wrong. (gasps) Oh, no. And the reason I say thank God that I tried the light that I did is because every single other light in the room was also put together wrong other than the second light that i tried (laughs) oh goodness that is lucky it's so lucky because i like i probably wouldn't have guessed that otherwise no you wouldn't have thought yeah and so like now next tuesday i need to get up on a ladder and take down all of like those (laughs) other two lights and fix them i was just gonna ask like how long is it gonna take you to fix that like not that long like it's not hard to take them apart or anything it's just it's like it's just annoying (laughs) it's so annoying (laughs) and it's like it was so avoidable (laughs) it was so avoidable Mm -hmm. so that's another thing like when i since it was upside down i was also putting in the gobo backwards because Mm -hmm. i was putting it in based on the other light um (laughs) So I was putting the gobo in backwards. <laughs> and uh, so that means the gobo holder inside the light wasn't mm-hmm. catching. Like it has two clips. Yeah. And the thing was going 
below the clips. Uh oh. So then the thing got these gobos are glass, by the way. Oh yeah, right. And so it got caught on the metal rim holding it in while I was taking it out. So the metal rim popped out inside <laughs> the light. And then the gobo, like as I got the holder out, the gobo fell out. And I was so scared because I'm like, I'm up on the ladder in the mm -hmm. grid. Yeah. Thank God we have a carpeted floor because it <laughs> fell out of the light, hit me on the forehead, <laughs> and bounced off of me down to the ground. <laughs> and thank God it didn't break because that thing was like $90. <sighs> it was ridiculous. So that like at that point in the day, I was like, I've already gone an hour over past when I said I was going to be here. I'm mm -hmm. going to leave. <laughs> so there's currently just a deconstructed light on my desk at work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> an absolute time. But this is why you like your job, right? This is, well. Partially. <laughs> <laughs> I get to problem solve my own way. And that's yeah. what I like. Yeah. So, yeah. That is nice. Well. Is there anything else fun. you'd like to say before we uh, wrap up? Uh, yeah, twitch.tv slash salsa snakes. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. You're pretty cool. I'm glad thanks, you, you exist. <laughs> All right. Well, catch you, catch you catch later. On the flip side. Yeah. <laughs> Some other time. <laughs> Bing bong. Bing bong.